Hi everyone, this is Douglas at PCC, and this video will teach you how to check in patients in PCC EHR. I'm here on the schedule screen in PCC EHR. This is my home base. I can see today's appointments, the patients coming in, either for the whole practice or just my location and my providers. I always keep an eye on the all-important visit status column over here on the left. It tells me exactly where each of these patients is. You may notice that the upcoming afternoon appointments have a status of scheduled. They're not here yet. Okay, so let's pretend that Dawn Robertson and her family just came in the door for their 18-month well visit. I'll greet them and click on the visit status to check them in. Now, I could have clicked on their name to open the chart, but I don't want to deal with the whole chart when I do check-in. I want a fast, clear set of steps that I do for every visit at check-in right at the front desk. This is my practice's check-in process. Now, your practice can customize this with what you need. I see the patient's basic info at the top, and the screen tells me I'm doing patient check-in. Over here on the left, I've got navigation buttons to jump to what I need. Uh, I can also scroll down through everything. I like to just click this next button to go through each part of our check-in process. Okay, so what do we do at check-in? Well, I confirm why they're here today, who they're seeing. That's all here in the appointment details component. You may notice I, I could actually change the provider. This is the scheduled provider. I, I could change that on the fly if I needed to. Next, we always ask if their address or any demographic information has changed. All of that is in these components. I click Next to cycle through patient demographics, communication preferences, and so forth. So they might say, oh no, I don't live at 489 Salisbury Lane anymore. Maybe they've got a new insurance policy. No problem. Uh, we've got the policies component as one of our check-in steps. I'll just click Next. And in the policies component, I can click Add Policy to create a new policy for this patient. Uh, I can automatically copy it to the siblings. Uh, I can click Edit to edit an old policy and expire it. We've got a short video that tells you all the cool things you can do in the policies component. Okay, so I looked at the family's insurance card. Maybe I updated their policies here. Next. I could look at the insurance eligibility for today's visit. Uh, PCC EHR could automatically check eligibility. It reaches out to the insurance company. Uh, this is not a live system. It's just a sample. Uh, but if it were a live system, uh, this might look a little bit more like this. Uh, you could see the full report. Um, you could pick a status to indicate yes, they're eligible, no, they're not. And I could click a button to automatically request another eligibility report to, to refresh that report. Back here in our pretend example, it looks like Dr. Mark already validated this patient's eligibility for today's visit. Okay, let's see. I confirmed the appointment today. Uh, maybe I updated their address and their insurance information. I checked they were eligible for today's visit. What am I missing at patient check-in? Well, my practice always reviews outstanding balances and collects the copay at check-in. It's a great best practice for a front desk to review any outstanding balances and collect payment right away, uh, not trying to collect payment when the family is leaving after the kid had their shots. Uh, so patient check-in first shows me any account balances right here in the account balances component. Uh, it splits the due amount up by personal, insurance, or Medicaid, and how old it is. Uh, with the totals over here on the right. It looks like this family has an outstanding balance of $243. Now, mom might just pay that, no questions asked. But what if mom says, why do we owe you $243? Maybe you defer to your billing department, or you can just click on Encounters with Outstanding Personal Balances. PCC EHR will display all the past encounters that have an outstanding balance that is due personal, due to the family account. Now this once again is a sample account with a sample history and some sample messages, uh, but what you will see is a complete history of these charges. If there was an insurance adjustment, the adjustment reason will appear right here. I've stubbed in a couple of those to show you what that looks like. All the information you might need to explain why there is a balance due. And then you say those all-important words, how would you like to pay your balance today? The last step that we have in our check-in process is the time-of-service payments component. So I see a ledger 
with today's balance. Uh, that includes the copay, uh, and it's all summed up for me. Now I'm going to go ahead and enter payment details. And what I love is as I type the amount, it shows up in the ledger right here and tells me what the new expected balance will be once I save that payment. Okay, I'm going to save this payment. And the ledger updates. Right here, I, I can see uh, you know, what the expected copay was, what the personal balance was, and right here, I see the payment that I just posted. Uh, the new balance, in this case, is $0. Great. Now, after I post a payment, I can print a receipt. And in case you're wondering, I could always print another receipt. I could post a second payment and then print a receipt showing those payments. I could come back to patient check-in and print the receipt later if I need to. Okay, I've completed the patient check-in steps for my practice. I will click Save and Check-in. Okay, all that patient and family information is updated and this patient is checked in. My whole practice can see that right here on the schedule screen. Uh, anyone tracking the arrived and check-in status counter, by the way, that's a little green bubble down the lower right-hand corner of your screen, uh, they'll see the number increase to show them the number of patients who are waiting in the waiting room. One other neat feature I'll highlight, uh, we clicked on the scheduled status to check the patient in. But of course, you can select any appointment and click Patient check-in down here in the lower right-hand corner to open up that check-in screen again. Uh, you could do that for a patient who has already been checked in. So if you collect the copay later and need to reprint the receipt, or they come back from the car with their new insurance card, you can always pop open patient check-in and finish the job. Okay, let's check in one more patient so we can cover a few more special circumstances you may run into at the front desk. It looks like the Dirgy family just came in the door. Now, sometimes you need to do something different at check-in for families or patients with special circumstances. Now, when I check in Paige Dirgy right here, PCC EHR stops me and gives me a special uh, patient check-in clinical alert. Uh, this one is cash only with a special note. My practice might set up an alert to appear for every family that hasn't signed our new financial policy, or for a patient that doesn't have their physical scheduled, and so forth. Uh, there's a wide range of possible criteria, so watch for these alerts, and they should tell you what to do. Okay, so as I do with any patient, I now confirm demographic and insurance information. I click Next to go through each component, each step in our check-in process. And as one of those steps, my practice has got another great thing we can do to help patients and families. We review the patient portal users component. Now, the patient portal, my kids chart, is how the family can check their appointments, get a copy of their IMSS record. Uh, they can pay their bill in the patient portal if your practice has that set up. And they can even ask questions of the nurse or doctor. Everyone's on their smartphone after all, and it's amazing when you can give parents more control and responsibility for their kids' health records. Now, for all that to work, mom and dad have got to be signed up for the patient portal, and they've got to be using the patient portal. By glancing at this component, I can make sure a patient is signed up. So for this patient, I can see both Deb and Ron Durgy are signed up to have access to Paige's records. I can also see if they've logged in recently. Uh, it'll tell me if the doctor sent messages or documents that they haven't looked at yet. Now, all of this helps me coach the family and remind them to log in. Now, I can also click Manage Portal User and make changes to a portal user's account settings. A perfect example is this is what I would do if they've forgotten their password. I can, I can reset their password right here on this screen. Uh, I can also add a new sibling, for example. Um, also, does your practice display account balances and even collect payments in the patient portal? If so, uh, this part down here should be linked to a billing account. I'll do that right now. Now, the other thing I might do here is click Add Portal User to sign up a new patient portal user to access this patient's records. Uh, you might come in here and there will be no portal users here. Uh, you can get mom or dad signed up right here. And how about a teenage patient? I could give the teenage patient access to their own appointment information, their own health records, by giving them a patient portal account. Okay, another cool patient check-in feature to show you. For this patient down here on that time of service payments component, this family doesn't have a past due balance, but I see two kids 
siblings. Why do I see Paige and Mizell here? Because they both have appointments today. Uh, you should collect two copays. PCCEHR is smart. It, it knows that mom only wants to run the credit card once for both kids. No problem. You can do that and enter the payment once right here and print one receipt. When I go to check Mizell in, I'll see the payment I made and know they're all set. Okay, one last thing to remind you of, especially if you're new at your practice or, or just learning about patient check-in. Your practice can add and configure components to patient check-in. So you might see a forms component here for printing forms or a patient reminders component with information about the patient. I just showed you all the typical default components, but you should go and check your practice's check-in process. PCC frequently adds new components and features that your practice can take advantage of. And if you've got a need at the front desk that you'd like to see added to patient check-in, either as an alert or a custom component, get in touch with your PCC client advocate and let them know. That's patient check-in in PCC EHR. If you don't know already, everything I just talked about, you can read the manual version of that at learn.pcc.com. Next up, if you are your practice's administrator or the PCC configuration specialist, we've got a part two video where we will talk about how your practice configures patient check-in. Thanks for watching.